OK, we are going to be learning now about something called implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation, uh, well, we're going to explore what it is by deciding what the difference is between explicit functions and implicit functions. So I'm going to write down a few explicit functions. Some of these explicit functions could be something like y equals sine x plus x squared. It could be t equals uh, 13 x squared minus 12x plus 7. It could be y equals e to the x squared minus sine x. These are examples of explicit, explicit functions. I'm going to do some examples now of some implicit functions, like x squared plus y squared equals 16. Uh, x squared minus 2xy plus y squared minus 3 sine x is equal to 0. You don't have to copy these down exactly. But has anybody got any ideas of what they think I mean um, by these kinds of functions that I've got on the right-hand side? Pardon? Yeah, it's where you don't have x or y as the subject. So an explicit function are like these ones because you've got y equals, t equals, y equals. You've got the kind of the mathematical sentence starting with the subject is equal to. And these implicit functions, they're kind of all jumbled up together. It's like if you wanted to make x or y the subject of this, it's going to start looking quite messy. Okay, You'd have to rearrange that. You'd have some square root signs in there. It's not going to be particularly pre pleasant. And for this one in particular, if you wanted to make x or y the subject, it's going to start turning into a total mess. And right now, yeah, it's not exactly the most neat looking thing. It's at least quite organized. And it's quite a simple, like elegant way of, of stating the relationship between them. So explicit functions have a variable as the subject. And implicit functions uh, don't have a variable as the subject. You don't need to worry too much about the definition. What you really need to worry about is, can you tell the difference between them? And yeah, pretty much all of us should be able to just know when something is an explicit function or an implicit function. Right now, we know how to differentiate the ones that are on the left-hand side. Okay, If I was going to differentiate these ones on the left-hand side here, this one would become, what would I be differentiating this with respect to? Yeah. x. So this would become dy by dx equals this one. What would I be differentiating this with respect to? So it would, what, sorry? I would be doing this with respect to x. So it would be dt dx equals. This one is obviously a y equals, so it's going to become a dy by dx equals. The thing that you're doing it with respect to is the bit that comes afterwards. That's the thing that you'll be focusing on. Here, we don't know where to begin with it. We are going to want to learn how to differentiate these with respect to x. And so we're going to need to learn how we can do that um, when we've got these mixture of variables together. So on the next page that you've got here, I have got that if you have, this is going to sound like really, really painfully obvious, but I've said here, when, you, when seeing y equals x squared and differentiating, you probably think that you're just differentiating the x squared to become 2x. That's what people often think, that when you differentiate, you just write dy by dx for the sake of it. But that's not what happening. That's not what is happening. In fact, you're differentiating both sides of the equation and both of them with respect to x. And y, by its definition, differentiates to dy by dx. So probably when you learn def differentiation, you just thought you just write dy by dx as like how you start the thing off. But really what you're actually doing is you're differentiating this side to get 2x, and you're differentiating this side to get dy by dx. So this little notation that I've got written at the side here, that d by dx, when you differentiate y with respect to x, it's no surprise that we've decided to label that or call that dy by dx. You can see how those letters kind of all fit together. And when we differentiate this with respect to x, obviously x squared is going to go to 2x. So I've put in this red box. Remember that y differentiated with respect to x is, by definition, dy by dx. That's something we all just need to make sure that we have fully agreed on here. 
So we're going to now try and think, how do we differentiate y squared, but not with respect to y, but with respect to x? So it's definitely a bit weird there. We're trying to differentiate it with a variable that it hasn't, doesn't seem to be connected with. So I'm going to try and write down what I'm doing here. I am trying to differentiate this, but with respect to x. In other words, I am trying to differentiate it with respect to x. Remember that d by dx means differentiate with respect to x. Well, we can't differentiate that with respect to x, not in the way that it currently looks. I can differentiate it with respect to y. So instead, I'm going to do this. I'm going to differentiate it with respect to y, because I know what that would be when I differentiate it with respect to y. It would just become 2y, OK? But I can't say that these things are equal to each other, because they're clearly not equal to each other, are they? Sort of, I need to add something to this side here that will make them equivalent to each other. What could I multiply this side that would make these two statements the same as each other? D, just dx. If I, multiply, if, if I multiply it by just dx, are these two things the same as each other? If I think about these as fractions, I think it has to be dy by dx. Good, Mohan. If I multiply this by dy by dx, good. The dy's, they are effectively cancelling out with each other, and those two sides of the equation look the same, right? So what I'm allowed to do now is if I want to differentiate y squared with respect to x, I will differentiate y squared with respect to y, and I will multiply it by dy by dx. I'm not going to keep those crossed out, but just effectively, that is why the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this sentence are equal to each other, because the dy's are cancelling out. OK? So let's actually just calculate what this is. When you differentiate y squared with respect to y, you get 2y. And you're multiplying it by dy by dx. So that is what y squared differentiates to with respect to x. It differentiates to 2y dy by dx. And what I've written down here is that in general, when differentiating a function of y but with respect to x, you multiply it by dy by dx. And that would be true in, if the variables were different. So in further maths, if you were differentiating like t but with respect to y, you would differentiate t how you'd expect it to be, and you would multiply it by dt dy. Okay, You just need to think about how the letters might change if you were using it in different contexts. That's usually something that comes up in further maths. There's no reason it couldn't come up in normal maths as well with different letters too. So this is it. That's how you do diff implicit differentiation. You just add on a dy by dx every time that you are differentiating something with respect to the wrong letter. So we're going to do a few simple examples, and then we'll do some. You, this doesn't have a value. It's just like if you said that y equals x squared, you get that dy by dx is equal to 2x. You don't know what dy by dx is. Here, though, we weren't, this wasn't equal to anything. We were just differentiating that one thing by itself as though it was part of something bigger. Okay. So let's try it with some examples. We're going to differentiate the following, but with respect to x. Okay. So this means I am trying to, I want to differentiate this with respect to x. x so you're just going to differentiate it with respect to y, which is cos y, and you multiply it by dy by dx. You don't need to do that method of actually changing the way you're differentiating it, where I put dy, d by dy. You're just going to go now straight in with differentiating it, and then adding on the multiplying by dy by dx at the end. And so what do you think e to the y is going to differentiate to, but with respect to x? e to the y, dy by dx. Simple, right? I mean, I could have put this in the skills section, but there's no new things we're learning about differentiating here. It's just that if you differentiate with respect to y, you add on a dy by dx as well. And then we're going to do some trickier examples here. So I'm wanting to differentiate this whole expression with respect to x. So just do them both separately. The first part is just going to differentiate to 2x. The second part, cos y goes to 
So it's going to be minus sine y multiplied by dy by dx. Anytime you're doing it with y instead of x, add on multiplying by dy by dx. This one's going to be a bit trickier though, right? So we want to differentiate this one, but with respect to x. Mm, no, you need to be careful here. So you've got here the tan of blah. So tan of blah will differentiate to sec squared of blah multiplied by the derivative of blah. What is the derivative of this blah? 1 plus dy by dx. Because the derivative of y is dy by dx. And also, the other way of thinking about that, Arifal, is the derivative of y with respect to y is 1, and you multiply it by dy by, dy by dx. So this one is an example of the chain rule. What we said is we had tan of blah, which we knew when it differentiated would go to sec squared blah multiplied by the derivative of blah. But this time when we did the derivative of blah, we had a y in there which goes to dy by dx. If it was like a y squared, you would have had x plus y squared in the sec squared part, and you would have had 1 plus 2y dy by dx. Okay, So you just differentiate y how you'd expect it to be, add on the dy by dx afterwards. And then I would just leave it in this form that you've got here. Okay, You could probably write it as 1 plus dy by dx sec squared x plus y because then you don't have to have any multiplication symbols, but I wouldn't be too fussy about how you've got those ones written there as well, okay? Let me see to the next page. Okay, I'm going to just split this here. <clears throat> 